In this tutorial, we will learn VBA programming to copy specific rows when a condition is met and pasting that rows or those rows on another sheet. Let's see how we can do this. I have two sheets in this file. On sheet 1, I have some data and in this data, we have four columns, employee ID, department, region and salary. I want to copy entire row when region column has value as north. So all such rows I want to copy from sheet 1 and paste on sheet 2. So in VBA programming, we can use looping concept and if statement to accomplish this task with some additional VBA code. So let's start. I will go to developer tab and here we have insert control option. I will click here and here from ActiveX control I will select command button and then dragging and dropping a small command button to make changes in appearance of this command button we can right click and go to properties then in caption let me write click here to copy and paste rows we can make changes to font also so I will click on this small button and let's make it bold and font size font size as 12 now we can close this window now I will double click on this command button so that I can write VBA code on the click event of this command button now first I would like to check that how many filled rows I have on sheet 1. For that I will write as A equal to worksheets, then name of sheet, sheet 1, dot cells, then rows dot count by considering column 1, then dot and Excel up dot row. So what this VBA line is doing is storing the total number of filled rows in variable named A. Let me check if this is working. MSG box I will pass A variable and at this moment if I minimize this window and then I will click on design mode to come out of design mode and now if I click this button so I am getting message as 20 that means we have 20 filled rows on sheet 1 so we are okay with this now I will again click on design mode and then double click on the button to add more VBA code so I will remove this syntax now I will use one for loop for i equal to 2 that means from second row to a so this loop will run from second row to total number that means from 2 to 20 let me say next it is a close a statement for for loop and within for loop I will use if condition if worksheets then sheet 1 dot cell then i comma and we are checking the condition as north in third column so i will mention here three so that means third column dot value equal to north because it is a string value so i am putting it in comma or inverted commas then then worksheets sheet 1 dot rows and I want to select that row if condition is met dot copy so wherever we will see north in column C then that row will be copied and next step is to go to sheet 2 
for doing that we need to activate sheet 2 syntax is worksheets sheet 2 dot activate now before pasting this row to sheet 2 first I would like to see that how many field rows are there on sheet 2 for that syntax is almost similar to first line here I will use variable name different so I will say b equal to maybe I can copy this first line accept the variable name and paste here then instead of sheet 1 I will give as sheet 2 now let's say there are few lines that are already pasted or already filled on sheet 2 so I want to select the next available blank row so for that I will write the code as worksheets then sheet 2 then dot cells b is the last field row i will add here one and then one that means first column dot select what this line will do this will select the next available blank cell now to paste row i will write code as active sheet dot paste we have already activated sheet 2 so on sheet 2 by selecting the next available blank cell we are pasting the copied row once it is pasted I want to go back to sheet 1 and for that I will write code as worksheets sheet 1 dot activate now I will close the if statement by writing and if let me align few lines this looks nicer some more formatting or the alignment now we are done with the code but I will add two more lines first application dot cut copy mode equal to false and then I want pointer or cursor to reach to the first cell on sheet 1 once task is done and for that I will write line as dot cells first row and first column that means first cell dot select so this is the VBA code that I expect will fulfill the requirement. So let me summarize. First we are checking the number of filled rows on sheet 1. Then using the for loop that will run from second row to the last row. And then if any particular row is meeting the condition that row will be copied. Then activating the second sheet. Evaluating how many rows are already there on second sheet selecting the next available blank cell then pasting the row and then coming back to sheet 1 so this is how we can write pba program for copying specific rows and pasting to another sheet let me minimize this window and check if this code is working perfectly so here i will click on design mode again to come out of design mode and now if i click the command button 
it seems it is working okay now i will go to sheet 2 and we can see the required data is copied from sheet 1 all the rows where we had north in region column and pasted on sheet 2 so this is how we can make use of vba programming for achieving any task in excel thanks for watching this tutorial if you like this tutorial please subscribe to the channel and for any query leave your comment at below or for any suggestion thank you